What is up, everybody? My name is Dane Thompson, and welcome back to another episode of Burndown. So, in today's episode, we are fresh home from the track yesterday. I went with my buddy Reed and was the cheerleader, um, as usual, because this thing is <laughs> taking its sweet time getting put together. Somebody's taking their sweet time, but um, no, I had a fun day. I like to go every now and then, even though it pains me to like walk away from getting work done because I know. If I get the work done, I can go enjoy the, the day. You still got to support your buddies. They're having fun. And it doesn't hurt to get a little motivation. Watch some people go fast. Watch your buddy set a new personal best and do some wheelies. And you're like, God, I want to go do that. And then you come home and you're like, you know, it's Sunday. I'm tired. I want to sleep in. But instead, I'm going to work my butt off all day so we can be one step closer so I can be the guy in the driver's seat, you know, racing the car out there, meeting people, shaking hands, and having a good time. So on today's agenda... I know it's boring, but this thing needs to be blacked out. So I think we can prep and shoot that because again, this is just race car paint. So literally, if I just clean that and paint it, I'll be happy. I don't think I'm gonna worry about this today um, because I don't know. I wanna work on engine stuff, I think. We'll see, I'll think about this. I don't know if I can get this off. I've never taken this trim off. Uh, maybe if it comes off easy enough. So maybe we'll struggle with that. If I can just take these off and shoot it with that, I think that's probably the, the jam. And then I still have all this, I don't know. So the goal is to at least get the um, grill done. So if I can get the grill done, I don't know if I wanna worry about that other stuff today. And then the exciting news is, nope, it's not my Gatorade. It's we've got a box of parts and then I actually have another box of parts in the house so we almost have enough um, to long block the engine so i want to get started we'll get rolling we'll push the car out i'm not going to bore you too much with that maybe we'll just show you how it turns out so i'm just going to kind of speed through the paint portion and then we can get on to engine assembly stuff and we'll try to keep this video somewhat short uh, so i don't beat you guys up too bad but yeah other than that if you want to go see a fun video and watch reed kick some butt uh the previous video he is there doing so and it was a fun day there's some cool stuff there's a rad Wagoneers and things for you guys to check out. So let's get started. I have a few things to share with you guys um, I hit my buddies over up at War Performance So they have some cool little goodies that you guys may not know that they carry and uh, I want to start doing a better job of Shouting everybody out that's helping me and again, I buy stuff from them. They don't just give me stuff I try to purchase things uh, when necessary and you know, they have problem-solving items So if you guys are building LS stuff go check out War Performance if you need safety DJ safety you guys know the drill Let's get after it <laughs> All right, you really need to showcase these, but that's black, and then I got my little door lock that I found, and then we just black this dude out. So let those dry up. Um, it's been a little while. Now we will turn our focus and attention to this. So if you watched the last video, we had some issues with the rods, but we got that resolved. So everything that's in there should be good to go. So I think the next step, I'd like to throw a cam in there so we don't get anything on the cam bearings. It doesn't start growing any rust or whatever. Um, so I think we'll assemble that portion of the engine and I've got a box of goodies we can kind of go over so maybe we can do that and then on this one real quick I think I posted but these little inside springs see how that's broken off see how this one's nice and flat well it doesn't ride properly and it tweaks it and it started eating the valve guide seals so we ordered uh, new valve springs and all that jazz. So we'll just take this and stick it back by that one. And then these heads already have a valve job, but they have stock springs. So we gotta change the springs and retainers uh, before we can long block things. So that is kind of an overview of wh where we're trying to get. So move this stuff over, uh, clean up a little bit real fast, and then we'll get rolling on this. I'll decide what to start with. All right, I think the packages um, are the right place to start. So we can kind of show you what we need to go into this guy. So let me open these real quick. And then we can take a peek inside and I'll show you what we, what we got. So I ordered both of these. The first box is big one. It's just stuff from Summit. Uh, kind of the essentials of, if you will. So I'll give you a sneak peek at all of this stuff. All right, so 
We got lifter trays. Yay. You need new lifter trays. Ask me how I know. <laughs> we had some problems. Houston, we had some problems. This is that little dog bone. Everybody told me to get the aluminum one, but I already ordered this guy. So this little dude, bam, it's like eight bucks or something. So this should suffice. So I just want to show you guys that. All right. We got, huh, that's kind of not confidence inspiring that the box is open, but hopefully it's new. It's a new oil pump. There you go. So, it should just be a standard volume oil pump. Yeah, the M295. And that comes with the little gaskets for the pickup tube, which I don't have. Nobody has at his place, so we can put this on, but I don't have a pickup tube for it. More important awesomeness this is the chain tensioner or chain guide got me one of them i had to get this this is the for the gen 4 because the cam sensor is on the front now i went from a gen 3 to a gen 4 so we're going to convert that this guy is important a lot of people forget so this is btc part but they're all the same and this seal right here this is a cam thrust plate that actually bolts on here and these dudes right here connect your oil passages. There's an oil passage that goes from there to there. So when you take these off of like a stock motor, this thing's always flat. So this will be nice and fancy and new. This dude goes on the back, same thing. So this cover goes back here. There's an oil passage and we got our cover down there that, that goes on that. And then last but not least, a couple of head gaskets for the 6062 bore nothing fancy just mls i think these are like ls9 gaskets or whatever yeah ls9 multi-layer head gaskets and that is it so that is the party in this box so this box is exciting so let's go over this one so this box is from my boys over at war performance i need to order some parts and i like to check on their site to make sure or see if they have, you know, see if they have what I need. So, right out of the gate, boom, as I cut it with a thing, we got our War Performance sticker. So I'm gonna show you guys, we got, woo, woo, all right, we got some more goodies. Of course, they're always spoiling me, so. War Performance, check them out. Um, I ordered a few things, and then of course they, they come through and kill it with some fuel pumps. So thank you very much, guys. These are the uh, 500 fuel pumps, the 550s. So we run duels in the fuel tank. So big shout out to War. Uh, thank you for the fuel pumps. That is very, very, very cool. This is what I wanted to show you guys. I didn't know that I was getting those. So thank you guys. That's that's awesome. Um, we we need these, by the way. So this is a cool one so what this thing is this is a little collar and this allows you to run both bolts on the oil pickup tube because from a factory one they only have one so war has this thing it's fairly cheap and it's just cheap insurance this collar is going to grip that a lot better and sandwich that in there and hold it because uh oil pressure is key to longevity so this was really cool i didn't even know they had it i found it i'm like we need that this is another one that I think is really cool, especially with these aluminum um, heads, right? So it's aluminum head all the time. These are freaking broken off in here. I've extracted a bunch. If you've messed with LS stuff, you've probably extracted some. And as you can see on these heads, I was just running bolts, right? I didn't have the good stuff. Well, now I do. So this, this is a stud kit. So you tighten these in, and then now you can put your gasket on and hold the manifold. These are gonna clamp a lot better. So you're not gonna get exhaust leaks. Um, this one, yeah, I may have had like a little bit going on there. This one, this is a good example. See all that? That's an exhaust leak. So these ones were sealed. That one was having a problem. So with these, I'll be able to clamp that much better and we should get around that. And it helps you line things up when you stick it in there. So very cool there. Oh, I got 
It's either a two-part deal or they accidentally gave me two of them. Huh. All right, well, I don't think I need two of these. So, looks like we're going to do a giveaway on that. And then last but not least, check this out. So we got the Brian Tooley spring kit. Uh, springs, it's the dual platinum 660, nothing crazy. Essentially kind of what I had. But they carry this, they had it in stock, and they shipped it out fast. So if you guys, if you guys are looking for parts, um, especially like all my friends in California or here, maybe, probably maybe Canada, depending, I don't know, but um, actually reach out to War for the Canada shipping. Um, they carry stuff and they have lots of other wiring components, adapters, you name it. I know I've showcased some other stuff. We'll showcase some more stuff as we start putting the car together uh, that War make. But little problem solving items like this stuff, you know, because this is a stud and it's metric and it's kind of a pain in the butt. I don't know if you could find these readily available like at the hardware store and I doubt it. And it's reasonably priced. So something like this, you get your little um, oil collar, you need a fuel pump, they've got you covered. So help those guys out. They're a better known company. Very cool. They've been very great and gracious with me and sponsoring the channel. So thank you very much War. Um, and again, I ordered these items and then they surprised me, of course, but I was trying to do my due diligence. I'm gonna have to get together with them too. We're gonna have to do some sort of giveaway. So let me know what you guys wanna get from War. Maybe they got some cool items and I can team up with them and get you guys some stuff um, to give away. So yeah, actually, you know what? I don't need two of these. So in this video, leave a comment and I will send this to you. This is a, a handy little little deal. So it's a little collar that goes around your, your dipstick or your uh, oil pickup tube. I keep calling it the dipstick tube. So yeah, let's do a giveaway. I'll give this away. Uh, leave a comment for oil, um, oil pickup tube collar or something to that effect. Leave a comment and then we'll randomly generate it. We'll pick one and then I'll just mail this out to you because this is small enough. I can just throw it in an envelope and shoot it. So yeah, let's do that. That'll be fine. All right, back to it. All right, I think we're gonna start uh, with just putting the cam in so we can kind of get the meat and potatoes in the block. I wanted to show this with you. So I was luckily, lucky enough that I did keep my hardware in a bag separate from my bin. I've got a bin hiding over there that's full of hardware, but here is the old plate. So it's funny because this thing, I mean, when you run your finger, it's damn near flat. You know, and this is the new one. You can obviously see that it sticks up. I mean, you can even see that on camera, which there's a lot more meat there than on this one. So I believe you might be able just to buy this piece. So you can leave a comment if that is the case. But these are cheap enough that I just bought the whole deal. And we'll call it a day. We'll throw this in the stash bin. And then maybe if I need a uh, deal one of these days, we can just drop it in and use it. But... Eh, it's not too bad. It's got a little bit of wear on it anyway. And then I dug the hardware out. So let me get the Loctite going. We'll get the rest of the pieces we need. This is the cam that is going in. Uh, this is the new normal <laughs> when it comes to camshafts. The Summit 8706. So this is just the stage two. Nothing crazy. Uh, we want the valve train to live this time around, hopefully. So we'll slam this in. We got this dude. I'll find my cover and the rest of the parts and we'll, we'll slam this cam on home. All right, I ended up having to dig through the bin. So it takes the little shorty bolts, just so you guys know. If you throw your stuff in a bucket and you're trying to figure out which one's going to the back of the shorty guys. We've got our new Melling little replacement guy, Gizmo. I believe this is called the oil galley plug. Come on, oil, get on there. Let's put a little oil on it. This guy goes in here, if you don't put that in. Probably not gonna have oil pressure. Get low. Huh, let me struggle with that off camera, but make sure you get this in, then put these dudes on. Use a new gasket. Life will be good. Alright, here's a look at the summit cam. Here are the specs. Uh, you'll notice it's a Gen 3 cam. So that's why I have this guy because the pickup was on the front, but this would actually work in a gen 3 motor should be good for gen 4 if not i guess you can leave a comment but it's a uh, 226 230 so it's comparable to a sloppy stage 2 and that is it so we'll put some assembly lube on that boy, bad boy and we'll slide it home 
and then the big telltale sign is if these cam bearings are square is when i put it in the cam should spin freely so keep your fingers crossed because if it does that we're looking good if it doesn't not good i right, wish me luck can't even open the package i oh, need a lot more help than uh, i thought i had a guy around here oh this guy so this will help me hang on to this so we don't drop it and beat things up. They make a tool for this. I just grab a long bolt that fits. We call it a day. So that's how we roll, right? So what I normally do is I assembly lube all of these guys, except for like the front half. So that way I can grab onto it without assembly lube everywhere. So we'll do the, the third one. Make sure everybody's got lots of sauce. Rub it around a bit. We'll slide her on home. Technically, it's a hydraulic roller cam. I don't know how much juice you need on these things, but I would imagine it's a lot better safe than sorry. Especially turning it over and starting it for the first time and we're gonna prime this motor so it should be all right, but <laughs> Definitely need all the help we can get right We'll go ahead and squirt a little bit of sauce on this guy just because I can see him there we Go and Then we'll just twist it a little bit as we put it home. Let's yeah grease all on the GoPro how we live life over here so those two are square those three are nice and square see how this thing rotates real easy send that home all right these dudes nice and square still this is gonna be the moment of truth because that's that last far one. We'll see how uh, how well she still spins. Here we go, boys. Moment of truth. Woo wee! Look at that. Look at that, boys. We did it. We put freaking Canberries in a motor. Hell yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. All right, so this guy's in there, it turns. There's a little resistance, like I said, that stuff's so boogery thick, but if it was wedged at all or messed up, I wouldn't be able to do that like that by hand. So I'm happy with that. Next, we'll put the new plate on with the hardware. Let me get some Loctite for these dudes. We'll slam that guy on home, and then the camera's in place. <laughs> All right, I dug this timing chain out of the box I had on the shelf. Uh, I believe this is one, it looks good enough. I've got my new gear. Then we've got our tensioner. Here's a look at the port numbers on those things. If you want, you can just pause it. And that's the port number four. This is the, the gear, that's the tensioner. Uh, so we got our decently used chain. This, this bad boy. So now the next thing we do is we need to line the dots up. So I'll spin this around. It's hard to see. Oh, so there's there's the dot. So we'll go backwards. So kind of kind of missed it. So it's dot to dot. So that points straight up. So I don't know if you guys catch that, but bam, there's that little dot right there. And this guy will have probably that dude. That's what I'm assuming is the dot. So yeah, we're gonna go with that. So we'll line these guys up like so, and then uh, put the chain and everything on, and that should be decent. We'll check it out. All right, we got those in, and then they moved a little when I was tightening it, so. There you go, That's dot to dot. Got this dude installed. Last piece of the puzzle. Throw that dude in there. Where is my... <laughs> Well, that didn't seem like it went to normal, but the good thing about that 
is those aren't backing out, I don't think, anytime soon. So yeah, there's our little chains that would whip around. We got those dudes in. We were looking good. So, a little late in the afternoon, it's a Sunday. Uh, this stuff chewed up more time than I thought. So we're just gonna call it good there. I still have to soak the lifters and all that stuff and then um, valve springs and whatnot. So we'll we'll keep on trucking. Maybe I can do a little by little uh, this week, time permitting, we'll see how weather and life treats me. But as for today and the videos for this weekend, I gotta edit these things and get them out to you. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully they're not too boring, but we're trying our best. I really wanna get this thing back out and get running. And uh, especially I have to watch and read click offs and damn near five second passes. So that was really cool. But we got a ways to go. Look at, we're looking pretty tired over there. We got lights hanging around and oh. All right, I'm gonna clean up. Till next time, I'm out. <laughs>